Hello and welcome to Thought Provoking Tech. I'm Zach and in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through the, through the quality settings you're gonna to wanna to use with Fortnite to achieve a solid 1080p 60 FPS experience with both the gamer and the pro hardware tiers. So without further delay, let's go ahead and jump right to it. All right, so to get the Liquid Sky Gamer tier to run well, I did have to crank down the settings quite a bit, but I ended up with a result that is very responsive and I think is very playable at the same time. So with the view distance, I only had to crank that down one tier down to far. On the shadows, anti-aliasing and textures, I turned those down to medium, and effects and post-processing, I turned those down to low. If you're okay with turning down the settings a little bit, a little bit, you will end up with a little bit better of uh, an end result. But since I was talking, I'm way off side of the map, but I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through kind of the results you should be able to expect with those quality settings. Uh, and that is one good thing about cloud gaming is you can essentially have a quality setting guide that everybody will be able to utilize and be able to have a great experience on. Uh, once the services mature a little more, I think they'll probably automatically have these settings recommended for you. Uh, most games do have like a recommend setting, but I don't always agree with it. Um, sometimes it'll favor having taken away too much graphical fidelity and trying to find a good balance between having the perfect amount of, you know, pretty graphics while still having a great um, gameplay experience is something that uh, sometimes those automatic detections built into the games don't always do but having a team that kind of tests some at least more of the more major popular games uh, the mainstream games at least is something I foresee a lot of cloud gaming providers doing in the future I know GeForce Now is already doing something along those lines anyways as you can see here once we land on the ground we end up with a very good experience it pretty much stays right around the 60s uh, and doesn't really drop too much below the mid 50s uh, once we're on the ground and actually have loaded everything in. Now, once you're once you're jumping from the ship and and you're getting closer to the ground, it will fluctuate quite a bit. But once you are on the ground, you have your feet on the ground and you're ready for action. It's a very good and very consistent experience, and that's something I think is very important to have a nice consistent experience because if it's 60 FPS, you know, 90% of the time, but it has dips down to 30 FPS, that's not really a good experience simply because you're going between two very wide um, FPS results. I'd rather have something that's consistent at 55 than having something that's you know all over the place. When I was running the benchmarks for the cloud gaming with Fortnite video, the Liquid Sky Pro tier was only slightly shy of our 60 FPS goal. To bring it up to that target FPS, it didn't take a lot in terms of playing with the quality settings, and I was able to keep the view distance and the anti-aliasing maxed out at epic. Shadow, textures, effects, and post-processing did have to take one step down, but we ended up with a very solid experience that stays pretty much at or above 60 FPS for the vast majority of the time. Right after jumping out of the bus and until you hit the ground as it's loading things in, there are some dips, but once you hit the ground, you're pretty much gonna have a very solid 60 FPS experience. There are some slight dips every once in a while that stay in the high 50s, but in the end, it's a very solid experience, and most of the time, you are staying right at that artificial limit that Liquid Sky has at the 67 to 68 FPS for the majority of the time. All right, so let's finish it for today's video, guys. As I already mentioned earlier in the video, the final tip I would have is using Parsec as a software side of this experience. Liquid Sky does have very fairly priced hardware and does make a very good budget option, but their, their client is still very buggy and hasn't had a lot of improvements over the last year. Hopefully in the near future, they will have some client side improvements to reduce some of the bugs that you see, some, such as some of the graphical glitches uh, that really only the Liquid Sky client really has. Um, and hopefully those issues will be resolved. But in the time being, I would recommend using Parsec as the software side for this solution. So as I already mentioned, this is pretty much it for this video, guys. If you'd like to give it a big like. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, make sure to smash that subscribe button to stay tuned for more great videos from Thought Provoking Tech. Until next time, Zach out.